Guys, showed from One Up Reviews. Today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Nike Wild Horse 7. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old, without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's get into it, so today we've got a look at Nike's newest trail runner, and it is the Nike Wild Horse 7s. Why it's called a Wild Horse, they don't, they're not really clear, and I don't know if it's the seventh rendition or if they just stuck the number on. If anyone can answer, tell me in the comment section below. Just drop some love and help me. But today we got these in a UK size 7.5. It's a European 42 and it's a men's US size 8.5. As you can tell with it being the Nike orange box that this is made for sportswear. And here they are. Very lightweight, guys. You're gonna have to trust me when I say that. I can't really. Well, we had some skills, but can't be bothered. Uh, we'll start with the outsole. So, this outsole is an all rubber outsole. You've got multi directional lugs here, it's there for that enhanced grip. Obviously, these were designed with trail running in mind. So, you're gonna be running on a lot of surfaces, slippery, wet, all that. It's it really, um, I see wherever these are built to help you grip. It's also high abrasion as well, so they won't get worn out too easy. The midsole unit, so you've got the Nike React technology. Brilliant, we love Nike React here at One Up Reviews. We've done tons of the Nike running React sneakers. So check those out, chance to, or you're very curious, go check them out. And on the heel of the midsole, if you can just see it on the middle side, it says, engineered to the exact specifications of trail runners, worn to be wild. So these were specifically designed for trail running in mind. As you can tell guys, by I would say our recent videos, we've done loads of trail runners, we've done loads of hiking boots. Personally, I've mentioned this in all our videos prior to this one, that I believe that the year 2022, this is the year of Corp Core, the mountaineering, hiking, trends you can see loads of people wearing stuff like this very vibrant colors as well moving up where we go into the upper we go and see these vibrant colors as i mentioned before very flashy yellow it's a mesh upper essentially but you've got this multi-fit system that nike has on the mid for the midfoot it's there to keep your feet intact don't want any slippage and looking at the toe box area, you can see the TPU here, heat press plastics, anti-abrasion, so your feet wouldn't get scuffed, these shoes won't get scuffed as much. The upper is made out of this breathable mesh. Obviously it's there to help keep your feet ventilated and cool whilst you're running. Again, heat pressed plastics for the Nike swoosh. As I mentioned before, you've got this fit system to keep your feet in place. You've got this gator collar. Essentially, it's a sock booty system, but with a different part from the tongue. So this tongue is nicely padded and you've got the heat press plastics here. Quick lace system and you've got Nike Trail Wild Horse 7 on the tongue there in a heat press blue. Going back to the collar, so this is designed to keep debris out. It's there to keep your feet in and just hopefully protect it from any dirt going in. Pull tab at the heel. Heel's nicely padded as well, nicely supported. And I really like this logo that Nike have here. It looks like a mountain with a trail going along the middle just to specifically show that it's for trail running. Again, guys, I don't know what this wild horse name comes from. Stallions run wild and they run in loads of terrains. So maybe it's taking it from the horses there. Why it's called Seven, guys, could you please educate me? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. A great help for us. Uh, if anyone knows, let us know. With all that said, 
I can't wait to try these on. Brought up footage of me wearing these Quad Horse 7s. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get a true to size Nike fit. I am a UK size 7.5. When it comes to Nike, my toes are where they need to be. These are very interesting sneakers. They have kept my feet very secure. That is because of the tons of padding that is throughout. So as I mentioned, you can see the multi, oh, forgive me, it's the mid system fit that you can find here, right there. Uh, the tongue's very nicely padded. A bit too padded though, it yeah, feels like it's proper secure on the top of my feet. These kind of remind me of football boots. Um, well, they look like AstroTurfs to me when you look down, especially with our lugs, you can see over there. And essentially with it being a soft booty system, as I mentioned, it does keep my feet secure with this, essentially it's a gusset there, the gator ankle support. But it, because it's lightweight as well, it reminds me of football boots. It's very comfy without a doubt. And I feel like doing kick-ups in these. But regardless, the grip is brilliant. I feel that multi-directional lug. And I can't knock its comfortability. So guys, if you're looking for the next trail runner, I recommend these Wild Horse 7s. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with ZDN. Until next time, Peace.